morning everyone uh a sniper here i wanted to uh make a video uh be kind of a quick one on how to uh get anatomical elements to iclone um this uh video actually i want to give thanks to theo rem games um uh, if you all don't subscribe to him um, or know who he is, he's on YouTube. Uh, he does a lot for Unity and Daz. Um, he did a video on, uh, there's a hidden menu in Daz that uh, could help all of us out. Um, it does work for some clothing, and, uh, but more or less uh, also how to get anatomical elements into iClone. Uh, I've tried it on uh, shoes. Uh, it does work for some shoes, high heels. Um, it works for some clothing. I did find that some boots and stuff that come with like uh, the alien packs and stuff, it don't, for some reason it doesn't, you know, the feet come out of the boots. Um, and then once you do this, you can't, you can't fix it because it's, it's all merged into the geometry. So, um, but like I said, this is pretty much on how to get the anatomical elements for the male and female over to iClone. So let's get started here. Uh, one of the first things you want to do is come to Window, Workspace, and Customize. Um, open up the menu side here. Uh, you can put it into any part you want. I just put mine in the main menu and open up file and you'll over here on the left side you'll find merge fitted figures to geometry and it'll be over here just drag it over anywhere you like over into here uh, click apply and then as will do some jumping around there um, and then I got a, a Victoria 8 loaded up here. Uh, I'm just keep it wireframe for modesty reasons here. Um, but so uh, just add the uh, anatomical elements. Um, come back to your figure. Uh, materials, uh, apply your materials. Uh, this also works for uh, the eyebrows and eyelashes. It does a really good job um, for those of you that had trouble getting those uh, into CC3. Um, Note though, once you do do this, uh, you cannot send this character into CC3. You got to use 3D Exchange, um, which isn't too bad. I mean, we can still apply our materials and stuff in iClone. So, uh, and also, if you know, if you follow Mike Kelly, uh, he's got uh, a great script that it does a pretty decent job of getting the materials. So. Let's apply the eyebrows here. So uh, we got three extra figures here. Um, just go file and make sure that you're just selected on the Victoria 8 and click merge fitted figures to geometry. It does three figures. And you'll see that it's worked once uh, the eyelashes and stuff 
uh, will be down here in the eyebrows. Um, once that's done, just click the eyebrows, delete, uh, click the anatomical elements, delete, and delete the eyelashes, and you can see that they're still there. They're now part of one into the uh, geometry. I'm going to throw a dress on Victoria here. <clears throat> Yeah, sorry, I haven't made a video in a while uh, between work. I just haven't had a whole lot of time. Um, let's see here. Just add this dress. Merge fitted. It, it, like I said, it does work good for clothing and some of the shoes, uh, the high heels, it works good on some high heels and some it don't. I imagine it's on however the creator created them. Um, I haven't found a workaround for some of them yet, but um, it, I'm sure it has a lot to do with weight painting uh, and I'll figure it out sometime. So... Go into texture shaded. Okay. So, uh, file and oh, you want to make sure you select all. And before we do that, I'm going to drag the face key over and change the frames per second to one. And it should be good. Port, I would just, okay. So if you come down here and you expand this, down here you see and here's the the morphs um and i'll show you how to get that here you want to have dot anatomy and export click accept accept and you don't need to merge the clothing into the figure skeleton because it's already it's already merged together so you don't need to do that okay so we come over to 3d exchange open And like I said, you can't get this into CC3 anymore because it changes the geometry. Even 3D Exchange doesn't recognize it anymore of a DAS Genesis. So you'll have to you'll have to figure out, uh, or you have to tell it which DAS it is. And that's what I mean, you know, it does, there's a mismatch, so it doesn't um, recognize it. But uh, everything works out, is worked out okay. Um, one thing you want to do, I don't know if uh, you guys spend a lot of time with 3D Exchange, but always you bring them in, and I do this every time. Uh, I bring a character into 3D Exchange. I always go to Customize, or I'm sorry, Convert to Non-Standard. And up here in the Face uh, key, down at the very bottom, they have Unused Bones. And what you want to do is click on that. Um, these are all the unused bones. You want to add them back. 
uh, because then you can uh, control the bones in iClone. Uh, then go ahead and convert. Okay. So good there. Um, a lot of times you get this the skin and everything and the dress and stuff, it don't look that good. What I do is I just use the eyedropper and I take the specular completely off of it and the glossiness. Um, and I do that for all the skin. Uh, this does work pretty good. Uh, the merge fitted also worked really good with the hair. Um, does a good job. Um, we didn't bring no hair in this time, but that's all right. This is just a, a test to show you guys um, how to do it. Uh, so, like I said, just go through the entire body, take the specular and glossiness off because once you get into eye clone, you're going to add the maps. You don't want to, <clears throat> you don't want to, have all that on there so um the next thing uh real quick before we end this video you want to go to the expression editor and we had sent out all the morphs for that come over to custom group and you know just use your custom groups um you want to scroll down there's an your morphs for the anatomy um you need to just you know set it to what you want and then click set and then go to the next one set it to what you want click set and then uh then when you're done go ahead and apply it to iclone And you can see here too that the eyelashes come in pretty nice and the eyebrows. <clears throat> okay. Now in here to get to those morphs, come down to face key and here's your ones that you set in 3D exchange and then you can adjust them and set them here to what you want and that's it all right well thanks for watching and uh please like and subscribe thank you